Hi, welcome to my channel, 369 Tarot. Thank you so much for being here with me. And I'm going to do a reading for you guys today. But before we, we begin, please keep in mind this is a general reading, so only take the messages as they personally resonate with you. Um, I do have a tendency to get very detailed, very specific. And um, I do this mainly so that you know if the messages are for you or not, okay? Um, so just use your own intuition to help to guide you through the messages here. And if you'd like to help support the channel, you can leave me a like, share, subscribe, comment down below, and information for private readings, personal readings are down below each video in the description box, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get started. So let's start off by taking a look at the mutual energy here and see what's going on in that energy, okay? Spirit, please reveal to me what is the mutual energy for this reading. Okay. My crystals are so cold. You guys, like, don't they just look cold? Like, anyways. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the, um, the feminine and masculine energy here too, because I really want to see who I'm reading for right now. So I'm going to start off with the feminine energy. Um, Spirit, please reveal the feminine energy for this reading. Okay. And let's get the masculine energy. Spirit, please reveal to me the masculine energy for this reading. Okay. So the mutual energy here, we have the three of wands, okay? So I definitely feel like there may have been little to no communication for three weeks to three months is what I'm getting here, okay? And I feel like there's someone here in the relationship that feels like someone is leaving them behind. So there's someone that is just kind of watching their person drift away, drift down the ocean, just leave. So it's like, um, you know, there's an element of watching your ships come in, but this is kind of watching your ships leave is the energy that I'm picking up with here. Um, this is fire energy. This um, could be a third party situation with the three wands. Okay. Um, I do feel like there's a masculine here who has been holding on, holding on, holding on, holding on to something that perhaps they need to let go of. This could be a relationship, especially if it's a third party. If there is a third party here, this masculine has been holding on to the wrong partner. They have been holding on um, to something that has kind of stalled their growth. It's become stagnant. Um, and I do feel like in the relationship, they have been um, just kind of watching everything leave them behind, okay, while they are here to just hold on to this karmic relationship. That's what I'm feeling here. And that's the messages I'm getting. Okay, so there could be an Aries involved here. This is very strong Aries energy. Um, and it could be the Aries watching the person move on. It could be the other person. And you guys, I just want to be really clear right now that when I say signs, okay, that doesn't mean you have to be that sign or your person has to be that sign. Um, it's just an energy, okay? Also, if I do call signs, um, 
you know, and you're like, wait a minute, that's not my sun sign or that's not my person's sun sign. Well, um, you can check your moon sign. You can check your rising sign, your Venus and your Jupiter, because those are all very important. Um, and, you know, some would say they're actually even more important than your sun sign. Okay, so... Um, before you feel like that, go ahead and check your charts, okay? Um, but anyways, to get back to the reading, Three of Wands. So they're watching their lover leave. They're watching them drift away. Um, they know that there's a decision that needs to be made. And I do feel like for this person, they've put it off and put it off and put it off. There will always be tomorrow. There will always be another day. There will always be um, another chance. I'll wait till tomorrow. I'll, I'm just hanging on this week. I'm just hanging on today. Um, today I'm busy. I'll deal with it next week. Um, you know, that's the kind of energy I'm getting from this person. And while they were doing this, they were messing with a karmic. And while they were doing this, a lot of people have left them behind. They've quite literally watched a lot of friends leave them behind. Um, they've watched jobs and careers leave them behind, um, you know. And pretty much any relationship that they've been in. That's what I'm seeing here. So there's not a whole lot of growth left to be found where this masculine is. And I do feel like for the feminine energy, they are trying to move on. Okay, that's what I'm getting here off of this card. And I just want to say there's definitely, definitely an Aries energy going through here in this reading, okay, because we have for the feminine energy, the four of wands. And what I say, I felt like the feminine was the Aries energy. And we have the four of wands here in the feminine that would say, hey, hello, Aries. This is also twin flame energy. This is 1111. So feminine, you could be seeing 1111. Um, or maybe you've been seeing it for the past three weeks. Okay, um, maybe you stopped seeing it three weeks ago. Okay, but that number I feel like is very familiar to you. Um, I feel like that number is a foundation that you have committed to spiritually. It's a communication to and from your guides. Um, so you are able to build a spiritual foundation. The wands are all about um, spirituality, um, spiritual energy and motion, determination, the will behind determination, um, the will behind the soul. Okay. Um, and I do feel like that's given you a lot of strength. Okay. Um, but with the four of wands here, this is about home. I feel like there's a feminine here who could have just moved locations. You could have just moved home. Maybe you got a new home, a new apartment building, but I do feel like you could have just moved homes. Maybe you're getting ready to move homes within the next three weeks, but you're preparing. That's what I'm getting here for this feminine. Okay. Um, but there's a foundation that's also been rocked here. Twin flame energy, 1111. There was supposed to be a homecoming. There was supposed to be a reconciliation between these two. Um, and I do feel like there's a masculine energy who just kept putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. So I feel like this feminine felt like, hey, <laughs> you know, I guess they're just taking advantage of my love. I guess they're just taking advantage of how emotionally I feel towards them. Okay. Um, and I guess there's no, a real foundation here. There was never really a true commitment, I feel, between these two. It was always, you'll never know what's going to happen in the future. You'll never know what the future is going to bring. But it, the future never came. It never came because every time the actual future came, there was always another future to look forward to. And you know, it was only an, an excuse for this masculine, if that makes any sense. I hope that makes sense to you guys. <laughs> Yeah, but that's what I'm seeing here. And it rocked the foundation. Okay, it really did. And so once again, we see a feminine energy wanting to leave this masculine behind. Why? Because they can't make a decision. Why? Because um, they can't make movement 
forward. Why? Because they're a procrastinator. They're always putting things off. Those are traits of this masculine. So they put things off. They're a procrastinator. Um, and you know, I do feel like they use a little bit of wordplay. They use the future as an excuse. Like they might say, well, you'll never know what happens in the future. Um, I want to come and visit you at your home. Um, you know, and then always something happened. Foundation rocked. And so they always said, oh, yeah, just wait. Just wait till the future. Just, and, you know, that's what I'm seeing here. All right. And we'll get further into that. But that's the energy I'm picking up on. A procrastinator. Someone who pushes things off. Someone who really leans on their excuses. Someone who should have made a decision a long time ago, but kept putting that off and putting that off and putting that off until the day came to where they are standing watching their ship leave them behind okay and the ship could be an aries <laughs> sun moon rising venus or jupiter okay but there is an aries energy here and i think that aries energy especially if you're not an aries um, that aries energy is finally finding the strength to stand up for yourself Okay, to stand up for what you believe in and to go after what you truly want. That's something this masculine is needing to learn. And that's something this feminine has learned. This feminine has learned to stand up and be a leader is one of the things that I'm seeing here. Okay, for the masculine energy, we have temperance. Let it be known I did not fall from grace. Okay, so the first thing I'm feeling here with this masculine, they could be a Sagittarius. This could be two fire signs, okay? Um, or this masculine is fire and water, so they could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, um, or with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Moon. So it could be like a fire sun, uh, water, moon is one of the things I'm picking up for this masculine. So, you know, I feel like a lot of times this masculine's actions in the physical and the 3D, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to what they truly want in their heart and what they truly want in their soul. This is a masculine who um, really likes to put things in the back of his mind, put things off. This is a masculine who refuses to see um, any mistakes that he's made. Any, um, you know, it's like he makes excuses. He's always got an excuse for something is what I'm getting here. Okay, so no matter what happens, no matter who leaves him behind or what leaves him behind, it's never his fault, and he acts like it doesn't affect him. So his emotions, he likes to kind of numb out. He may act like he doesn't really have any emotions, okay? That's what I'm getting here, and it's kind of like that tough guy exterior. So they put on this tough tough guy exterior is what I'm getting. They have a fear of intimacy. And I feel like it was really hard for you, um, feminine, to get this masculine to open up because they do have such an intense fear of intimacy. Okay. Um, yeah. And I do feel like, you know, as for patience, you know, it's like this masculine is too patient, <laughs> um, but it's not even really patience. It is procrastination and it is honestly, it's neglect. It's neglect of the relationship. It's like neglect of the foundation of what you had built together. Okay. So let's get some clarifiers here. Spirit, tell me about the Four of Wands and this feminine energy. Oh, boy. Let's do that again. <laughs> but, you know, I saw the King of Wands. This could very well be a twin flame reading. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Temperance in reverse. Can you guys believe that? So this feminine is thinking about her masculine. She is. Um, she's thinking that um, with temperance in reverse, you don't know how to moderate. Um, you don't know how to be honest. Um, you don't know how to see my side of things. 
Um, you don't know how to express yourself intimately. She is recognizing the fear of intimacy. Um, and you know, this feminine now has become impatient and this feminine has a lot of reason to be impatient. This feminine has been waiting for this masculine for quite some time. And I'm seeing 14. So maybe their birthday could be the 14th of a month. Um, and I feel like they could be a Saggy. Okay. Um, rising sun, moon. And um, yeah, I, I keep seeing 14. So maybe that's significant for you. Maybe you guys met when you were 14. Um, but there is just no end to it. There's no end to it. Okay. Um I feel like feminine, you're somebody who really likes to um, spend on your home. You like to spend money on your home. You like to feel comfortable. You like to make your home beautiful. You like to make it comfortable. You want it to be your sanctuary. Um, you want it to be your castle. And I feel like, yeah, you like to spend a lot of money on your home. So that's what I'm getting here. Or maybe you've just bought a new house that... Um, you know, you've had to save for, and maybe it really kind of took an effect on your money, but um, I feel like you're somebody who really invests in your home. Okay. So feminine, here's the deal. I feel like you've been waiting and waiting and waiting forever. And you're like, you know what? I can't be patient anymore. I can't. Um, it's unequal. It's unequal give and take. It's unbalanced, okay? Um, and I feel like this person here, they don't see my side of things, right? So, feminine, you stood up and you said, you know, I just got to leave it behind. I got to find stability for myself. And I do see Archangel Raphael actually in this reading, okay? And they are coming through very, very strongly. So I also feel like there's been a lot of pain, a lot of heartache um, that you felt during this relationship, okay? And I feel like this angel is here extending their hand, um, wanting to help you to heal, okay? But you're moving on. Maybe you bought a new house because um, you don't like the memories there of your masculine. Maybe, um, you know, everything reminds you of them, but you feel like you want to get away from the area, from the home, from the house um, to where you shared or that reminds you of your masculine. So right now you're just like, you know what? I'm done. I don't want anything to do with this person. Okay, so really intense energy. And I do feel like it's not just the waiting. It's not just the inconsideration. There's something else going on here because we see that there is this third party. And um, yeah, I want to know what it is. Okay, so let's figure out what it is. And I feel for this um, feminine, you definitely have some saggy in your chart somewhere. Okay, and if it isn't placements, it could be aspects. All right, so let's take a look. Okay. Okay, sorry about that, you guys. My cards are like all over the place today. All right. So. Spirit, tell me more about, um, tell me more about this feminine energy. Destruction. So you've walked away. And you know what, Feminine? I feel like you're pissed. <laughs> I really do. I feel like you are embodying um, Aries energy right now. You're very fiery. You have motivation. You're standing up for yourself. You are taking the lead. And you feel like this relationship with your masculine, it's destroyed. You feel like there's no fixing it. There's no coming back from whatever happened here. 
It was a violation of a foundation. It was a violation of your beliefs and everything that you stand for, whatever it was that happened is what I'm seeing here. Divine Feminine, you have morals, you have values that you want to follow. And whatever happened here was a violation of that. Okay, and um, you decided then this is out of control. Out of control, and this has destroyed the relationship. Whatever it is that has come to light, that you feel there's no fixing it, okay? Um, it has destroyed the foundation that you were building together. And again, temperance in reverse. There is no putting this back together again, you feel. Okay. So what is this? What happened here? First, let's take a look at the masculine energy. Okay, let's clarify that and go a little deeper there. Spirit, please reveal to me, tell me more about this masculine energy. Also, feminine, you know, you feel like your masculine is never going to see things your way. Um, we have the Page of Swords in reverse. Okay. So, some information came out. Okay. This feminine may have found it out. All right. I definitely, I feel like she has, but it's something masculine that you were hiding, weren't you? Um, with the Page of Swords in reverse, it's something you were hiding. It could be a communication intimate communication between two people or maybe you were speaking very intimately to your feminine because that's really what I'm feeling here with these temperance cards um, there is a whole lot you said to your feminine um, there was a whole lot of intimate conversation okay this could even be with temperance page of swords I would not surprise to see the devil and the lovers come out to indicate sexting <laughs> okay, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, but, um, you know, this feminine is saying, hey, it's not true. It was all lies. All of it lies. Okay, um, because I feel like this feminine may have done a little bit of spying here. A little bit of spying, you know, with the Page of Swords, this could be anything on social media, um, you know. But there's something here that's come out. It could involve a child with the Page of Swords. Okay. I feel like this something has come out within the past three weeks. Um, and this feminine is looking at it like it's irreparable. Masculine, it's something you tried to hide. You tried with everything you got to hide it you never mentioned it maybe you had plenty of time to um tell this feminine you had plenty of time to mention it temperance and temperance here but you didn't okay but you didn't and this feminine found out a different way um and i do feel it was shocking whatever this was it was shocking i do feel like you share a home with someone masculine. I do feel like you have um, a relationship going on, a third party. I feel like this feminine, you know, was considered a third party by you. Okay. This page of swords here is also Gemini. Okay. And I say Gemini because Gemini is um, the youngest air sign. Okay. Um, you know, and Gemini, you know, it, it's the twins, okay? So sometimes this masculine does or says things that they may not be aware of. They could be influencing um, a situation in a way that they're not aware of, okay? Um, again, Gemini energy, um, Sagittarius energy for this masculine, Right. And again, Gemini Sagittarius, there's a certain type of um, belief structure and um, wanting to go to the next level there. So I feel like this masculine always wants to go to the next level. This masculine is someone that don't know when to stop. Okay. Okay. 
So let's get a clarifier for this masculine. Let's see. Um, yeah, this masculine tried to hide things. And, you know, I feel like whatever this was, this masculine was hiding, they truly felt like they were never going to get caught. They were never going to get found out. Spirit, tell me more about this masculine energy. But they did find it out. What I tell you, spying. Um, looking your person up, this feminine decided one day to look up their masculine online to see what they've been up to. Because, you know, they're so defensive. Anytime they ask them about it, um, they decided to look it up, you know. And um, <laughs> something came to light here. Something this masculine really tried to hide, okay. But it can no longer be hidden anymore. Um, and this left the feminine puzzled. This left the feminine shocked with whatever this was. And, um... This feminine then decided to walk away. But for this masculine, um, you know, I I'm not sure if maybe this wasn't talked about yet. Maybe this feminine just walked away. Maybe this feminine really had no more words to say to this masculine. So this masculine is just observing, what did I do? What did I do to make my feminine not talk to me? Okay. Um, yeah, I do feel like there's no communication right now. I feel like this masculine has reached out with temperance, but with temperance in reverse here for the feminine, this feminine's not having it. Okay. Let's look further into this mutual energy here. Spirit, tell me more about the mutual energy between these two. Four pentacles in reverse. Okay, so letting go. Um, this masculine is watching their feminine let go of them and move on. Um, and they're trying. They're trying to keep a grip. Um, they're trying to keep their mind and their heart in check. But it's not working. So they feel like they're losing control. They're losing grip. They're losing their grasp. And they are watching this feminine let go of them. So they feel like they're observing that from a distance. And they feel like there's nothing really they can do to stop it. Okay? I'm also seeing 34. Somebody here could be 34 years old. That could be significant to you. Spirit, tell me more about this mutual energy. So, yeah, this masculine feels like my love is letting go. She's moving on without me. And there's nothing I can do but sit here and watch. There is nothing I can do. So, wow. That's the energy we have here. So we're going to get further in. We're going to get deeper in there and take a look at the thoughts, the emotions, all of that good stuff, okay? But first, let's take a look at the spiritual lesson that's being learned here. Okay. We got the past here. Through the power of love, you release any stagnant situation so what did i tell you stagnant is a key word in this reading the relationship has become stagnant there is no forward movement between this masculine and feminine but this feminine has just found out that there is absolutely forward movement with somebody else Okay, so this is releasing any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform your heart space. So feminine, you're moving on. You're tired of the hurt. You're tired of the pain. You're tired of the lies. You want to leave the past in the past. You're looking forward to your future. Um, masculine, you're holding on to the past. You're holding on to someone or something that no longer serves you. And because of this, you have had a common theme in your life since you've been with this person. And that common theme is watching people leave you behind, watching people leave you in the past. Because you've given up a lot for this karmic relationship, haven't you? 
It's kept you very stuck, very stagnant, especially in your soul's growth. All right, so let's go ahead and get the thoughts of this feminine. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the thoughts of this feminine, but we could see that this feminine is like, look, I'm not doing this anymore. Um, you lied. Um, you don't know how to converse properly. You hide things. And um, <laughs> this is done. The ways in which I thought that you were true to me, the ways in which I thought that you were committed to me, I was wrong. That's what this feminine is saying. Okay, so Spirit, please reveal to me what is this feminine's thoughts towards this masculine. Okay, we got two. Ace of Pentacles, wise investment, okay? So um, this is seeing something manifest. You feel like, you know, it was talked about so much. It was always talked about um, that something would happen between you, something would occur between you, something, you know, um, actual and physical, but it never happened. It never happened. It was only a thought. It was only a feeling um, because it never fully came about in the physical, in the 3D. And so you're feeling very foolish. You feel like, wow, this person really did play me. This person does not care about me at all whatsoever because of whatever it is I found out. Because, you know, to go along with that, we have the sun card. So, yeah, something has come to light. Um, you may have seen something with your own eyes. And it was shocking. And maybe if you wouldn't have seen it with your own eyes, you wouldn't have believed it. But here it is. And yeah, it is about your divine masculine, sun energy, divine energy. And let me tell you something, feminine. It was the divine who brought this to your attention, who brought it to light. Because it was unfair. Um, it was unfair that it was hidden for so long. Okay. So let's get a clarifier for this. Spirit, tell me more about the thoughts. And I do feel like feminine, again, you know, you're, and we got lesson that came out. You feel like this was a lesson that you needed to learn. And you're looking forward to a brand new beginning, something for you, something that is a wise investment. And I do feel like for some of you, you've invested in a home. Okay, and um, you feel like this is going to, this is going to make things better. This is going to feel so much better, and you know, it it makes you happy. So you feel like this relationship was a very hard lesson to be learned, very hard, and you're trying to find your happiness again. Okay, but yes. Um, the divine did lead you to this, okay? Um, they did bring your attention to whatever this is. Um, so it is, you know, the universe's plan. So let's get a hidden truth here behind these thoughts, feminine. Spirit, please reveal to me what is the hidden truth behind this feminine's thoughts. Huh. Sorry. <laughs> I love spirit, you guys. Like, but I left when I saw you with someone. So the truth comes out. You saw it with your own eyes. You saw it on the computer. I feel like it's on the computer or cell phone, but it's on the internet. Um, you observed it with your own two eyes. You're masculine with someone else. Okay. And so this feminine's like, okay, I see now. I see that it was foolish to invest my time and energy here. I see that nothing's ever going to manifest between us. I can now see there's no foundation between us. I can see that um, this was a lesson for me to learn. Okay. Spirit, please reveal to me the emotions this feminine is feeling towards her masculine. 
you know, we need to see what has come to light here. Uh, I need to see exactly what this is. Um, we know it involves another person. Okay. Spirit, tell me more about the emotions here. You know, I can't do it. Let's figure out what this is. <laughs> Sorry, I have to. All right, Spirit, what is this? What is this that has come to light? What is it that this feminine has observed from her masculine that has her seeing the truth now? What is it this feminine has observed about her masculine online? What is it? Okay, third party. What is it this feminine has observed that um, has made her want to leave? What is it that this feminine has observed spirit and the tower? Magician at the bottom of the deck, eight of wands. So yeah, it was on the internet. Knight of Pentacles. Violation, I told you. Uh-huh. Okay. So here's the deal. Third party situation. Okay. Um, dropping it, leaving it behind. Um, this feminine, whatever it was that came out, realized there is no plan for the future. There is no point in making plans with this person. tower and reverse this person has been holding on to a karmic relationship for a very long time this person is never going to let go of this karmic relationship and this has been confirmed to this feminine by what she has seen what she has seen came about on the internet uh, okay and this masculine hid this truth from her this masculine had plenty of opportunities to tell just like we were talking about and didn't instead they hid it why because they were trying to prevent a tower moment with you they were being selfish but you found out anyways three and three news gossip public information Okay, Facebook, social media, that's what I'm seeing here. Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, and the Seven of Swords. Um, seven and Seven, which is another Temperance card. Wow, so many Temperance cards. 14, 14, 14. 14 is a very significant number. But, um,. The one thing you should have been talking about with your feminine masculine, you didn't. You held back the one thing you should have been talking about. And this was a violation of trust. It was a violation of the relationship. Okay. That's what I'm seeing here. A complete betrayal. A complete and utter betrayal. And it was a bad one. It's a bad one. What is it? Well, so far, I'm seeing a child here with the Page of Swords, and I have the sun here. Temperance could also indicate um, a child. I don't feel like it's an actual child. I feel like it's a pregnancy, to be honest with you. I'm sure that'll come out in the reading, but I do feel like there's a pregnancy here. Um, so this masculine could have gotten this karmic pregnant. We do have two threes clarifying the third party situation, okay? And this feminine found out online. Okay, so feminine, you feel like in your heart, you know the truth now. You are very aware um, that this person, what, what's going on, okay? You're very aware. You wanted to hear it from your person's mouth, okay, at first. You were so shocked, but now it doesn't even matter. Now all you care about is moving forward. Um, so in your heart, you want that closure. You want that communication, but in your mind, you're like, just move on. Okay, there's a brand new beginning here. So we do have two aces right next to each other. Um, this is about partnerships. Okay, this is the truth about a partnership. Something that was being hidden from you. But with the ace of swords coming out, um, you see the truth now, you know. And um, it could be something that your intuition was screaming at you about earlier. You may have had a feeling, you know, a gut feeling, but now you see it. 
you see it for you know the truth of what it is and there is no denying it this time and and again two aces a child spirit please reveal to me tell me more about the emotions this feminine feels towards her masculine <laughs> feminine it's as when you've seen this information and the more you think about it the more you're dealing with this um it just feels like the, all the emotions are being drained from you all the love in your heart and and you're feeling like you know maybe the truth is that this person never truly did love me um maybe they're manipulative maybe they're a liar maybe they just said whatever it was they want maybe they're very careless and immature with relationships and and their communication and uh, you know maybe they're not ever going to learn their lesson but either way this feminine isn't standing around to find out and feminine you feel like your person <laughs> about the situation is so much of a coward that they're not even going to come clean with telling you the truth so you're just not even expecting to hear this from your person you know that you deserve it but you're not expecting them to because the way that you're looking at them is wow coward immature have no idea the depth of what a real relationship should be You know, and this feminine tried to give this masculine that. Um, this was a very pure love. This was a divine love. 1111, the sun, divine energy. And um, it, was, it was the truth of this feminine's heart. It was the truth of her soul. And the offer here was pure. It was a pure love. Um, and it was disrespected. And it was violated. Okay. Spirit, tell me the hidden truth behind the emotions um, this feminine feels towards her masculine. I'm seeing the letter L and H. You can't get it out of your mind. You can't get it out of your mind. You can't get it out of your mind. You can't get it out of your heart. You remember every single detail of everything that you saw. And there is just no coming back from that. And that is how you truly feel. It is. Okay. You question if your person is capable of telling the truth. That's one of the things that's on your mind. Okay. So let's continue. Let's take a look at the actions you want to take towards your person. All right. And you know, this information that came out, it was completely gut wrenching. And you know, I have to tell you, feminine, when you saw it, there's a little part of you that felt sick. Okay, that just felt sick. Um, and you know, there is a big part of you that was like, this is not what I stand for. This is not what I wanted. This is not what I was fighting for. And you know, I feel like, you're curious. You're curious to know, you know, what they really want is what I'm seeing here. You really are curious to know what they really want um, and what's really keeping them and the karmic relationship. But, you know, you are really looking at this person like they're very low vibrational and you don't want any part of them. So I do see you just wanting to leave them behind. Okay, really, after seeing this truth you're just like oh no there is no way i am dealing with this no <laughs> spirit please reveal to me what is the hidden truth behind these actions okay we got songs remind me of you so i definitely feel like your person is reaching out to you through music um, because you're refusing to talk to them you don't want to talk to them you're looking at them like um <laughs> they're first of all you feel like they're immature 
Okay, we have two pages here. Very immature energy. This does involve a child. That's what it is. You found out this pregnant, this karmic is pregnant with your masculine's child. This message is not for everybody. Again, just take what resonates. But it was shocking to you. You know? And with this devil energy here and the sun energy and the page of swords, you know, and then we did have the eight of wands come out. We do have the devil here. What did I tell you? If we see a devil card come out, there's sexting involved. There's hot and heavy, intimate conversations. There could even be some pictures being sent back and forth. Um, and I do feel like this was taking place for quite some time is what I'm getting here. And, um, And now, <laughs> and it's like, because we see the excuse here with the three of wands. We see that there is always an excuse to move forward. So this masculine is somebody who's like, oh, um, feminine, you know, I can't come to see you right now because of this and this and this. Always an excuse, right? We talked about that. But um, can you send me a picture because I really just want to see you. Okay, and I feel like that was something they did a lot, especially with these cards over here. I feel like that was something they did a lot. Okay, so there is a lot of passion. There was a lot of desire um, here between both of them. But this masculine was going back to the karmic with the passion. They were sexting, asking for pictures, all of those things. And then going back to the karmic. And then this karmic ended up pregnant. And this feminine is like, oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No. I'm done. I can't do this anymore. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to see you. And as a matter of fact, I don't even want to live in the same area as you. So I'm looking for a house. I'm moving. I'm looking for a new job. I'm looking for a new partnership. I'm done. Okay, that's what this feminine's saying. You guys, I'm reading the cards. <laughs> um, spirit, please reveal to me. What does spirit want to say to this feminine um, about the situation here? Okay, so what does spirit want to say to you? Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So feminine, you are very angry. You have a lot of resentment built up for the way that you've been treated, the ways in which you were taken advantage of in your partnerships. And it really has affected the way that you view the world, the way that you trust people. Um, and spirit is saying it could, it could affect your relationships in the future. So this is about truly letting go of the past, truly letting go of the resentment, of the hurt, because this feminine is in a lot of betrayal is in a lot of pain but I don't feel like this feminine is really letting herself feel the emotions she's not really letting herself feel that pain okay and I do feel like it's coming out in forms of I'm angry I don't ever want to see you again I want to leave I want to go away from you these are emotions that's coming out um, emotions of pain okay but it sounds like anger and it, it is anger, but behind that anger, there's pain, a lot of pain for being lied to, for being used. This feminine feels absolutely, completely used by this masculine. And I have to say, it's, it's a pretty shitty thing that I'm seeing here. Um, horrible, even. So I wonder what this feminine would want to say to this masculine. Um, let's go ahead and, and pull some cards for that. Spirit, what does this feminine want to say to this masculine about this? Okay, pretty clear. So what does this feminine have to say? 
I'm not working on this anymore. Okay, I'm not, I'm not working on this anymore. Um, I'm, I do want to break up. I do want to leave you, leave you behind. I never want to see you again. I never want to talk to you again. Um, you hurt me. It was very painful. And I don't even want to think about our past memories together. I don't think that you're my soulmate for the way that you've hurt me. And I want to leave you behind. I'm completely done. And um, I don't even want to be in your vicinity. That's what this feminine wants to say to this masculine. Okay. And she's thinking, soulmate or not, I don't want to do this. I don't want this person anymore. Period. Okay. So let's take a look at this masculine energy. Let's see how they're feeling about their self, how they're feeling about their feminine. Let's take a look here. Spirit, please reveal to me the masculine's thoughts towards this feminine. Spirit, please reveal to me the masculine's emotions towards this feminine. Spirit, please reveal to me the actions this masculine would like to take towards their feminine here. Okay. Pretty clear messages that came out um, on the masculine side. So let's take a look and see what we got here. Um, for your thoughts, masculine, we have the moon. So now we have the sun and moon. This is twin flame energy. This is divine partnership energy, okay? Sun and moon. I see things. I'm affected by forces beyond our world. <sighs> oh boy. Okay, so masculine, you were with the karmic. All right. Um, and while you were with this karmic, you were thinking about your feminine. Right? That's what this quote's about. Um, the connection with this feminine, maybe you met this feminine while you were with the karmic, but the connection was deep. It affected you deeply. It affected your energy of every moment of every day. Um, and it was something that you hid. It was something you hid from this feminine. And um, you saved that energy for the karmic. You gave that energy to the karmic. Um, that sacred energy gave it away. And you kept it secret. And the moon is very, very secret. So you've kept a lot of secrets from your feminine, haven't you, masculine? Spirit, tell me more about the thoughts this masculine has towards um, this feminine energy. It's all third party. Separation. Okay, so you know your feminine separating with you. You know you messed up. Um, and, and you know it's because of your lies. You do. Um, your heart feels ripped in half because we have the broken heart card here in your emotions as well. So masculine, you are heartbroken. You are. Um, but what did you expect with this energy here? So there's a separation. You're also trying to separate yourself off from your mind. You're trying to not think about your feminine, but it's not working because the pain in your heart won't let you forget what you've done. Okay. This is also holding on to a separation for way too long with the karmic energy um, that doesn't serve you. This is feeling ripped apart from your, the other half of your heart. This masculine is feeling very uninspired right now. Um, and he feels like for this feminine, this is his muse. And he's, he doesn't have that anymore. Spirit, tell me more about the thoughts this masculine has towards this feminine. But there's even more in your past masculine that you've been hiding, isn't there? You have even more secrets. And you want to be more than friends with this feminine. You do. Um, but you lied. You've been lying. And now you've got yourself in a situation here because your feminine's leaving you behind. Your feminine wants a separation, but you want to be with this person. But your lies has caused you some problems. Your hiding things have caused you some problems. And now this feminine doesn't want anything to do with you. And you know it. You know it.
Okay, we got the Three of Swords coming out here in the emotion. So this is pain and this is heartbreak. And this is hiding that pain, hiding that heartbreak. Um, this masculine is refusing to accept that he has missed the opportunity, that the ship is sailing on without him. He doesn't want to accept that. He's refusing to accept that. And um, it's too hurtful for him to think about. It is. So he's trying to block out his emotions. Um, this masculine quite literally has a broken heart. They could even be having heart pains um, or chest pains is another thing I'm seeing here. Spirit, tell me about the emotions here for this masculine. Ascending and reverse. So this is your person moving on without you. You know it. You feel it. You could feel that pain in your heart when they're separating your, them from you. You can feel that. Um, you feel like this is your other half. You feel like you want to be more than friends, but you can't let go of the past. You're holding on to the past. And now you've got yourself stuck in the past because now um, there's a karmic situation here that you, I don't think, wanted masculine. Spirit, tell me more about um, the emotions this masculine feels towards this feminine energy. Tell me the hidden truth. Finding out the truth crushed me. So masculine, you know in your heart that you have crushed your feminine. You know that she knows the truth. You know that she's seen it. Okay, there's no denying that. You can feel it in your heart. You can feel it in your soul. Um, there is no hiding it anymore. Okay, you know that you hurt your person. Um, you do. And you don't know how to fix it. Um, and you know, you're in a lot of pain. You're in a lot of heartbreak because you feel like your heart is being ripped in half. The actions you want to take, you are refusing to believe that it's over. You're refusing to believe that the opportunity is missed, that your person is leaving you behind. But what I'm seeing here is they are, at least for right now, they are, okay? Um, too much pain, too much heartbreak, too much lies. Spirit, please reveal to me, tell me more about the actions this masculine would like to take towards his feminine. Then we have three threes here, you guys. This is about a pregnancy, 100%, and a third party situation. Look, self worth and crossroads. You're refusing to believe it. You're refusing to believe that your feminine is leaving you behind, that they're choosing to go in a different direction. And why? Because you refuse to go in a different direction. So if you're refusing to go in a direction, your feminine's not going to wait for you. Your feminine has more self-worth than that. And it's time they're moving on. Okay. Spirit, tell me the hidden truth behind these actions. You were in love with your feminine. You were. You loved her. You loved her deeply. But you didn't really tell her, did you? You didn't tell her the truth about how you love her, how you want to be more than friends. And now you have to watch her walk away from you, sail away from you, and leave you in the past. That's a lesson. Okay, um, but yeah, you were in love with this person. And I don't think you ever told them. And there's a part of you to where your heart really hurts that you never told them. Spirit, what do you want to say to this masculine about, um, about his energy here? What do you want to say about this energy, Spirit? What do you want to say about this energy? Okay, there was too many that fell out, you guys. Friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship, and your love life will dramatically improve. All right, so 
here we have friends friendship so this is a third party and you were uh, maybe just only friends with this feminine is what I'm getting here but what this feminine didn't know is that you were totally in love with her you were um, you tell yourself excuses masculine that you didn't have a chance to say it you didn't have the chance to tell her but you did you had every chance in the world and um, you, now you're refusing to believe it's over you're refusing to believe your feminine is moving on because they've always showed you love and unconditional love but this time you feel like something's different this time you feel like the cord has been cut because it has all right, and um, the truth is out there, okay? And I do feel like even if you were, and you know this masculine, even if you were to tell them now, do you think they would believe you? Because sometimes actions do speak louder than words. Okay. So let's um let's take a look at how this masculine is viewing this karmic. I have got to know you guys. Spirit, show me this masculine's energy towards the karmic. And I want to see this karmic's energy too. Spirit, show me the karmic's energy towards this mask. Okay. There it is. All right. So the masculine's energy towards the karmic, I really feel like this is what they're thinking about about each other that really came out, or, or their energy towards each other. Um, but this masculine sees the karmic as, um, a, you know, a little bit selfish, a little bit lazy. Um, you know, again, this is pregnancy. The empress just came out, you guys. It is pregnancy. Um, and I do feel because it's in reverse and because the magician came out in reverse, this is an unwanted pregnancy. This was a surprise for this masculine as much as it was a, su a surprise for this feminine. Um, I don't think this masculine truly thought about it. But here it is. Okay. I feel like this karmic could be blonde. Um, doesn't have to be, but that's one of the things I'm picking up on. Let's oh, let's go ahead and um, get another card for this. Spirit, tell me more about the masculine's energy towards the karmic. Oh my gosh, look at that. The lovers in reverse. This is not what the masculine wanted. This is not the plan that he had. This is an unwanted pregnancy. This masculine doesn't even want to be involved in this. Um, but here it is. And um, this masculine has made a choice without thinking. Without thinking. Okay. And he wasn't following his heart. He was following his desire. This is Venus here. This is Venus here with Gemini. Very interesting, by the way. Venus with Gemini. So first of all, we have Gemini, the twins. And then we have Venus coming into play. Um, and we have the twins upside down. So this is an inverted um, archetype of the twins. So this would be um, <laughs> with Venus showing love to the wrong person um this could be how can i put this <laughs> it's an inversion of love you guys it, it that's what i'm seeing here it's a blockage of true love um coming in especially with the lovers in reverse um this has nothing to do with the heart this has nothing to do with love okay
and with an inversion of the twins. With the twins upright, this is um, wanting to search for your other half, wanting to be with your other half. This is wanting to find a higher consciousness, always seeking, always growing to find that higher consciousness, always learning more. And with the inverted twins, this is giving in, especially with the Empress Venus into relationships. This is um, not learning, not growing. Okay, this is not searching more. This For more, this would be descending and consciousness, going into a karmic energy and a karmic partnership with the empress in reverse and the lovers in reverse. Very karmic energy. So there's a clarifier that this is the karmic. It is not you, feminine. Okay, yes, there is a pregnancy here. It's unwanted. And you know, oh, oh my goodness, with the lovers coming out, with the Empress, you know, especially with all these threes. I do feel like, oh gosh, this is so bad. Uh, there was a conception. And this masculine, when this conception was made, wasn't even thinking of this karmic, wasn't even spiritually present with this karmic. They were only present physically. They were only present in the act physically. Um, I do feel like spiritually they were thinking about their twin flame they were thinking about their feminine here but this masculine took advantage of this twin flame they were using the desire and the sexual energy they had for the twin flame and giving that to the karmic and now there's an unwanted pregnancy to come out of it maybe this karmic's easy maybe she it's easy to um to receive that sexual um, intimacy. So he's also looking at it that way. All right. Spirit, tell me more about um, the masculine's energy towards the karmic. Communication and commitment in reverse. So yeah, it's something they haven't spoken about. They haven't. Um, and, you know, they don't feel um, committed to this karmic in their heart. They really don't, well, especially with the lovers in reverse, to clarify that. Um, this karmic is not divine feminine energy. Empress in reverse, it's the karmic empress. And we talked about the karmic empress in a few of my readings, okay? That's who this person is. Um, let's take a look at the karmic's energy. We have the magician here. Okay, so lies, manipulation, this is like, I have to say it's kind of gross energy, you guys. Um, I re <laughs> I'm sorry, but I am feeling like that. This is putting on a show, okay? Um, and maybe this karmic even knew about the third party. Maybe they did. Um, maybe they wanted this um, divine feminine, this third party, to find out what was going on, okay? Um Maybe they wanted the whole entire world to know and see it. But I do feel like this karmic had a hand and putting it out there. All right. Spirit, tell me more about this karmic energy. Look, the moon in reverse, yeah. She knew this masculine was hiding things. She sensed there was another lover. She could sense that, okay? And she wanted to make sure that everyone knew that this masculine was with her, that everyone knew that they're going to have a child, that this masculine has been with her for quite some time. The moon is about cycles. The moon is about conception. There it is. This karmic wanted to make sure this masculine couldn't escape, basically. She wanted to make sure that everyone knew exactly who this masculine is tied to. And she wanted to shut this other person down completely. Notice the stuck energy here. And we have the child coming out. Um, but let's keep going. Spirit, tell me more about this karmic energy.
I feel like this karmic really enjoys the attention that she's getting for um, the pregnancy. So she really, really is enjoying all the attention and all the congratulations and everything about the pregnancy. And she just loves the attention. Um, and all of that is one of the things I'm picking up. But uh, she wanted to put this out there. She wanted to throw it in this feminine's face. Hey, this masculine, he really admires me. Observe. Look, there's proof. Okay. And, um, yeah, we're going to have a child. That's what I'm seeing here. So you are in the past. Get in the past. That's what this karmic is basically saying and doing. That was her motive for putting that out there. Okay. The world wanted to... Oh, wait. That was already out. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm thinking. Let's continue on. Let's go ahead and get the thoughts this masculine has towards this karmic. What is he thinking, right? What is he thinking about this karmic? Spirit, please reveal to me what is this masculine's thoughts towards the karmic. Spirit, please reveal to me what is the masculine's emotions towards this karmic. Spirit, please reveal to me what is this masculine's actions he wants to take towards this karmic. Okay. So this masculine's thoughts towards the karmic, we have the seven of wands. We can lose every battle except the last. All right. So this is um, defensive energy. Um, this is... I feel a cycle of giving in and fighting, giving in and fighting. So there's a cycle here of that. Um, but he definitely is defending his thoughts from this karmic and everybody else. He doesn't want anyone to know what he's truly thinking. Um, he definitely is battling with his thoughts right now um, and isn't sure what to think himself. But he definitely feels that he's lost the battle. He does. Um, and in fact, he feels like he's lost every battle um, and doesn't see like a, a win in sight. So he definitely is feeling very down on himself. Again, this is Sagittarius energy. All right. Spirit, tell me more about these thoughts the masculine has towards the karmic. Okay, we got received. So he definitely, um, I feel like he tried to stop this from coming out. He wanted to continue indulging in this lie. Um, but it's out there. There was nothing he could do. He lost the battle. There was no hiding it. Okay. And he can feel that this message was received from his feminine. He knows that it's out there. Let's get a hidden truth about this karmic. Spirit, tell me the hidden truth about these thoughts this masculine has towards the karmic. Two of them. It was my fault, but I blamed you. You came closer than anyone. Okay. So this masculine definitely is feeling like, you know, he is blaming the karmic for all of this. But he does know deep down inside it's his own fault. It's his, it's his own fault that he slept with the karmic. It's his own fault that he did this slimy stuff. You know, um, it's nobody else's fault but his. It's just that... Um, he's taking it out on the karmic. Yeah, he, he really is. And... Um, this karmic um, felt like he was getting too close with somebody else, really, really wanted all this to come out and he tried to stop it, but it, it wouldn't be stopped. And I can tell you the divine had a hand in that. The divine also wanted this to come out. It, and um, yeah, that's what I'm getting here. 
so for the emotions we do have the knight of cups okay so this is a love that is not genuine this is a love that is um based on a lie okay again it is a pregnancy All right, but this is also Scorpio energy. This is about secrets. This is about transformation. This is about death, rebirth, life, um, lying, um, disingenuine. This is also clarifying that this masculine was not being genuine with this karmic. This masculine was thinking about a soulmate. Um, this masculine was feeding off the energy of the soulmate and giving it to the karmic. This masculine, um, you know, could be creating a lot of karmic energy for themselves. They could be becoming a karmic okay but either way they're disingenuine they haven't been genuine with their emotions with their feelings or expressing them at all sorry if you guys hear the squeaky toy in the back it's my puppy <laughs> spirit please tell me more about these emotions this masculine has um towards the karmic Yep, what did I tell you guys? It's lowering his vibration. Okay, um, it is definitely lowering his vibration. All the lies, all the hiding in his heart, um, all the disingenuine love and emotions and, you know, things like that. He's definitely descending to um, a lower level. Okay. Spirit, tell me the hidden truth behind these emotions. I feel you leaving me behind. Um, they're definitely thinking about their feminine. They're thinking that they miss their feminine, um, but they do know instinctually, intuitively, this feminine has seen what's out there. They know, okay? And, and this masculine knows that they know, and they can feel their feminine leaving them, and that's what I told you up here. They can feel it. This feminine, I don't think, said a word to this masculine. I think this feminine is just maybe a little disgusted. Maybe she just has no words to say. Um, this feminine doesn't want to be bothered with this low vibrational stuff. Um, and this feminine does recognize that this masculine is lowering his vibration by doing this. Um, this is a karmic child that's going to be brought into this world, and it is a karmic masculine, okay, um, that he is becoming. Um, so a karmic child, karmic mother, and this masculine, if he continues, is going to be a karmic. Um, because this, this masculine already is a karmic to this karmic. They're both karmics to each other, right? For the actions they want to take, we have the tower. Okay, so they want to leave the situation. And remember, you guys, we had the tower in reverse come out. They want to leave the situation. They tried to hide it. They tried to reverse it. They tried to block this information from coming out. But here it is. The truth's out there. Tower's here. There's nothing they can do to stop it. Um, it's here. Okay. Um, but still, they are holding on to the past. Um, they're holding on to this karmic not letting this tower happen but you know the actions that they truly want to take is letting the tower happen is letting it crumble is letting it fall okay so they want this tower they want shocking destruction with the karmic and i do feel like there's a part of this masculine that's afraid one day when they're speaking that little truth of how they really feel about this karmic is going to slip out it's going to come out and this masculine's afraid of that And, you know, they've been hiding so much. There's a truth bound to slip out somewhere, you know. Spirit, please reveal to me the, um, tell me more about the actions this masculine would like to take towards the karmic. Cycles, it did come out in reverse, you guys. So they want to break this karmic cycle once and for all. I feel like this was a major wake-up call. Um, as much as it was shocking to the feminine to see this, I think it was much more shocking to the masculine for it to actually happen. Um, I don't think it was expected. And I think that this masculine was um, almost like feeling cut off living in La La Land for a very long time. And this was their wake up call. It was. This is their wake up call. The universe is saying, masculine, what are you doing? What are you doing? 
Spirit, please reveal to me the hidden truth behind this masculine's actions they want to take towards the karmic. Wow, did you see how that came out? See? They don't want to be in this anymore. They want to let go. They want to let go. They've been wanting to let go for a very long time. So why are they staying? Hmm? Let's take a look. Why are they staying? Spirit, please reveal to me, why is this masculine staying in this karmic cycle? Why have they not let go after all this time? I feel like they could have been together for three years, you guys. Two of Swords, because they really don't like change, because they don't like making decisions, because they're a procrastinator, because they um, are just, you know, sometimes lazy. Spirit, tell me more. The Emperor. It's their way of feeling like they have control. Okay. They don't want to feel like um, they're forced to make any decision. So therefore, they're not going to make a decision at all. And it says you cannot be frightened of everything you don't know in this world. I feel like this masculine is afraid to be on his own. Okay. Definitely is afraid to be on his own. Um, and I can tell you right now, this masculine is afraid of being a father. Okay. I also feel like there could have been some form of birth control being used by the masculine, but it didn't matter to a swords. The birth control was like blocked is what I'm getting here some way, somehow. Um, Spirit, clarify this energy. So they haven't let go because there is karmic ties. This person is their karmic mirror. This person is here to reflect to them all of their decisions, all of their karmic decisions. This person is here to force them to look at their karmic decisions to, or lack thereof, no decision. This person is um, forcing them to take a look at the things deep down inside they don't want to look at. the things that's been buried, hidden, all of those dark things, it's all coming out now. And now it's time. It's time for this masculine to look deep within. And this is a trigger point. Um, this is quite literally spirit stepping in to put a stop to what was going on here. Okay, so let's take a look at what spirit has to say about this energy towards the karmic. Spirit, what do you have to say about this energy here? All right, so we have the heart chakra energy here. So this is actually, this card reminds me, because it has wings to fly, freeing yourself from the weight that you've been carrying around in your heart. Because masculine, isn't your heart heavy with this weight? So why not let it go? Because when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you shared with those you love. So what kind of memories are you going to be taking with you, masculine? And are you going to be proud of those memories when you go, when you go to the fifth dimension? All right, so let's take a look at the karmic energy. Spirit, please reveal to me the thoughts this karmic has towards this masculine. Spirit, please reveal to me the emotions this karmic has towards this masculine. Spirit, please reveal to me the actions this karmic ha wants to take towards this masculine. Okay, oh my gosh, look at that. We got the Knight of Pentacles again. 
Okay. So in the karmic thoughts here, we got the nine of swords in reverse. So this karmic has had a lot of sleepless nights. This karmic has had dreams, nightmares of this masculine being with somebody else. They have. Um, they could feel it in their intuition. Um, they just knew. They really did. Um, and it was eating at them, eating at their thoughts, eating um, away at their energy. And... Um, they wanted to put a stop to that. They wanted to make sure that if, you know, what they were feeling in their intuition was correct, that they could put a stop to it. And put a stop to it, they did. So I'm seeing that they are starting to come out of this energy. Um, they're starting to feel a little bit better because now the pain that they had felt is now put on somebody else. And I have to say this karmic's feeling quite proud of themselves, this grand scheme. There's also a dark entity attached to this karmic because of what's being done here. Okay. Um, I don't think it's specifically attached to the karmic, but I think it's looming around the home. It's looming around the home, the living area. I'm seeing shadowy corners, dark corners depression. I'm feeling emotional um, overloads. So why would this karmic want to be with somebody like that? Um, why would they stop at nothing just to keep him stuck there? Well, I'm not sure. Let's figure that out. <laughs> Let's take a look and see. Um, where is my deck? Oh, here we go. Look at this, you guys, on the karmic deck tower in reverse at the bottom. <gasps> Craziness. What I tell you guys, she did not want this tower. She could feel it, and she would do anything, stop at nothing to prevent it. Okay. Spirit, please um, tell me, tell me why did this karmic go to this extent for this? Four of Cups. Strength in reverse. Seven of Cups in reverse. So I definitely feel like this karmic has a strong fear of rejection. Um, they feel, they really kind of feel like they're not strong enough to handle rejection is one of the things that I'm getting here. Um, they really have a problem with seeing things how they really are. Um, and I do feel like they're out of touch with their emotions and I do feel like they are emotionally unstable. I do feel like, um, this is somebody who has breakdowns often. Okay. And, and they don't acknowledge that they have breakdowns often. Like, they'll have a breakdown and be like, what? Everything's fine, like, a few minutes later. And it's like, what? You just, like, had a full-blown breakdown. What do you mean everything's fine? And they're like, no, no, everything's fine. Um, You're crazy. You're just, you know, not seeing things for how it is. That's how this karmic is, okay? All right, so... Let's get a clarifier for these thoughts. But yeah, they have extreme abandonment issues. There's an extreme fear of rejection and abandonment. And there's a strong sense of disillusionment with this karmic as well. Spirit, please reveal to me. Tell me more about the thoughts this karmic has towards this masculine. Winter. So she could feel the emotions, the love, the relationship dying. And she wanted to put a stop to that. She wanted to prevent the tower. Tell me the hidden truth behind these thoughts. And you know, you guys, this is not guilt over what she's done. Not at all. Um, she doesn't feel guilty for what she's done. Actually, it makes her feel better. You and I were too young. So this is her refusing to believe 
that the end of the relationship is here. This is her refusing to believe that um, <laughs> it's it was an immature relationship and the time is over. She's refusing to believe that, okay? Extreme fear of separation, extreme fear of rejection. This is somebody who um, doesn't even make an attempt to hold back anger or anything like that. And the emotions, we have the King of Cups. All right, so this is emotional manipulation with the Nine of Swords right next to it and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. It's emotional manipulation. She is using emotional manipulation, and I do feel like she's doing it in the worst way because she's bringing a child and that type of energy into it. And look how the ship is up here. See the ship? Um, she's looking at um, her masculine in this ship that hasn't reached the water yet because he wants to leave. She feels that he's sailing away. But um, again, remember, she wants to prevent it. So notice how she's got all these tools down here to keep that ship stuck. She is not going to let that ship reach the water. Nope. Nope, not this karmic. This ship ain't going in the water. This karmic is a Scorpio energy. All right. And um, she's using very heavy um, emotional manipulation. Okay. Oh, my gosh. My candle just started making the weirdest noise. And look, there's now two flames and one, one is trying to go out, but it's not. Do you guys see that? I just had two flames in my candle burst up, and now, look, it keeps wanting to be put out, but it's not going out. No matter what, the flame keeps coming back. Um, it keeps getting stronger. So very symbolic here. This karmic is trying to put the flame out. Because this karmic knows and could feel this passion wasn't for her. This love wasn't for her. I'm curious to know how she feels about the child. Spirit, please reveal to me, um, tell me more about the emotions here. Tell me more about the karmic's emotions here. Yep. Divine Masculine, you are going nowhere. You are going nowhere because I have all the tools to keep you where you are. That's it. That's the emotions. Let's look at the hidden truth behind these. So this karmic's like masculine. I have all the tools to keep you here, masculine. Um, I feel our relationship fizzling out. I feel you being very distant in your heart and your mind, but don't worry, masculine. Don't worry, because I, Karmic, am the magician in reverse. I always have a trick up my sleeve that's very well hidden, the moon. So observe, Masculine, um, <laughs> because I've got the ultimate trick here for you. That's the type of Karmic energy we're dealing with here. Oh, and we did get the hidden truth already. What'd I tell you? <laughs> she knew that this masculine was not thinking about her. She knew that the love there, the passion, the intensity wasn't for her. She could feel him drifting. She could feel him getting close, um, moving that ship to the water because he'd been hanging on for way too long in this relationship. But this karmic is a master manipulator. Nobody gets away from this karmic from the past, not without a battle. And we can clearly see one of the lessons here says the past, stuck in the past to be to be a hundred percent. That's what it says quite literally. Okay, so 
the actions this karmic wants to take is very clear as well. We got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Remember when we saw um, the masculine trying to move forward on the Knight of Pentacles that he had been trying to let go for a long time and he had been slowly making his movement forward out of the relationship well now we have the knight in reverse this is putting a wrench in the plans and you know this karmic quite literally has a wrench or tools right here mm -hmm. yep and stopping it by any means necessary And I'm not trying to sound very negative here, you guys, but this is what's coming out in the reading, okay? Um, this isn't my reading. I promise you I'm channeling. Spirit, please reveal to me the actions um, that this karmic would like to take towards this masculine. Yep. Emotional manipulation. Just purge those plans. Just get rid of them. I can feel you moving further and further away. And you know I've spent enough time staying up at night, crying, and feeling distant. So just get rid of all those feelings. Just um, put a wrench in that plan. Get off the horse. Because guess what, masculine? I'm pregnant. That's what I'm seeing. It's pretty messed up, huh? Let's get the hidden truth behind these actions. Completely lost in their own emotions and their own grief and their own actions. They do not care at all. This person is very lost spiritually. Okay, very lost emotionally. Let's see what spirit has to say about this karmic energy. Okay, so we have a lot of purple energy. This is um, crown chakra energy, okay? Um, so there's some crown chakra energy going on and we got sexual union. Honor the place and one another where you are one eternal soul for there you will find true bliss. So what spirit is saying is that this union is not honorable. This union um, is not blissful, okay? Um, it's not being respected. It's a disrespect of the spirit. It's a disrespect of the one eternal soul. It's a disrespect how this child is coming into the earth. It's a disrespect to spirit to um, for these reasons, right? To, ha to bring a child in for these reasons. It is a disrespect. Okay, so let's go ahead and see. Oh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I had to adjust it because my foot was falling asleep. So let's see how this karmic feels about this pregnancy and this child. Oh my goodness, what is going on here? Let's take a look. Spirit, how does this karmic feel about this pregnancy, about this child? How is this karmic feeling? Look at that. Can you believe it? Can't make it up, you guys. We got the five of pentacles in reverse. So this karmic feels like, well, I was about to lose something. I was about to be left out in the cold, but not anymore. Not anymore. I fixed everything. Okay, we got the Hierophant to go along with that. Um, so this karmic feels like they're definitely in control. We got five and five. This is a 10 here. Um, so this karmic feels like they prevented this ending. Um, they feel like they've done the right thing. And um, this tower is not going to happen now. There's not going to be a breakup. So this karmic is looking at the pregnancy and the child as like, something that saved the, the relationship 
is how they're looking. And notice the little lamp here with the keys. Spirit, please reveal to me, tell me more about how this karmic is um, thinking, feeling about this child and this pregnancy. Divine feminine in reverse. So yeah, getting rid of the divine feminine energy, kicking this divine feminine to the curb. This karmic feels like she's no longer the one being left out in the cold. And now it's divine feminine. Clarify the hierophant. numbing so this karmic um you know there is something inside of her that tells her you know this isn't right but she doesn't care she doesn't listen to it she continues to move forward so that's spirit trying to talk to her but she doesn't want to listen to spirit clarify the tower in reverse yeah awakening she could feel this tower about to hit and she is very proud of herself. She feels like she stopped the tower, that she got what she wanted, that she put a stop to the spiritual connection between divine masculine and divine feminine, that this ending didn't take place. And, um, you know, this masculine's never going to find out what's going on here. So does this masculine actually know what's going on here? Let's take a look. Spirit, please reveal to me, what does this um, masculine think about the pregnancy? What does this masculine think about the pregnancy and the child here? Page of Cups, symbolizing the child. Five of Pentacles. We now have devil energy coming into play, 555. Five, five. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> so this masculine, um, <clears throat> we got the five of pentacles here. So this masculine is definitely feeling left behind again out in the cold. This masculine is saying, I guess it's a new beginning for me. And, um, you know, feels like from here on out, he's um, realizing that it's going to be himself that makes himself smile that it's going to be himself that gives to himself that this karmic is only wanting he's kind of looking at it too like this karmic is wanting something financial or physical from this masculine but um yeah that's what i'm seeing so it is a wake-up call for this masculine spirit tell me about the page of cups okay victim he's feeling trapped he's feeling like he can't express what he wants to express now that he's trapped in this relationship because of the child tell me about the five of pentacles there's a lot of regret for his behavior um and he's definitely feeling at a loss okay there's a lot of regret for not moving forward with this feminine and there's a lot of regret for expressing the love in the wrong place Spirit, tell me about the world. They want forgiveness from their feminine. Okay, they regret their actions. They regret what they've done. And they very deeply regret not telling you. They regret keeping you in the dark. They're sorry. Truly. Truly regret their behavior. Spirit, tell me about the Six of Pentacles. but they know that you're not going to talk to them. They know that they're probably never going to get a chance to express this. And that's one of their deepest regrets here. And this masculine says, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was so immature. It was so stupid. Giving to the wrong place. Giving where it wasn't warranted. I'm so sorry for my behavior. I deeply regret it. And I wish I could tell you. Spirit, what is the hidden truth behind what is this masculine feeling about this pregnancy, about um, this karmic and this child? I hope you can forgive me one day, feminine. I know that I fucked up. 
I fucked up bad, you know? I fucked up so bad that I don't even think I can talk to you about it. But one day, I'm hoping and I'm praying that you can forgive me for what I've done. So let's get some cards, some messages here to come out. Okay. Spirit, what does this masculine want to say to this feminine? What does they want to say to this feminine? I felt like that one wanted to come out, you guys. Okay. All right, so what does this masculine want to say to his feminine energy here? Here's what we got, feminine. From your masculine, they're jealous of our love. So they feel like this karmic was, you know, on some level jealous here. Um... I didn't tell you because I knew I would lose you. So they feel like they knew if they told you what was going on, they feel like there would be some jealousy. They feel like they would have lost you no matter what is what they're saying here. So either way, they feel like they would have lost you. They want you to know there will never be another love and connection the way that you guys had. And that they are struggling. They are struggling so bad. They really, um, they're thinking about getting help. But they've been struggling for a while. Um, and they want you to know that you're not the only one. That they are very much struggling. Okay. What are they struggling with? Deception of their heart. Deception. The lies that they told you and the lies that they told themselves. And fear of the future. Fear of himself. And the fear of never being with you again. Okay, they're afraid. So that's my reading for you um, today. I hope that it could help someone out there. I hope that it um, resonated for at least some of you. And um, yeah, if you would like to help the channel, you can leave me a like, share, subscribe, and a comment down below. And um, thank you for being here with me, and I will talk to you later. Bye.